Hey, I'm back and actually I'm taking a, a take two of my previous recipe, which was the uh, Cheats um, Lotus Trifle Cheesecake because uh, I didn't really like the way it turned out and I think I figured out what the problems were. So basically I'm going to upload this as well as the other video, which I'm gonna leave because uh, this is the beauty of creating recipes yourself. Uh, it's always trial and error. And um, finally, when you perfect the recipe, you actually get something uh, truly amazing. So, um, well, not amazing, but yummy. So uh, I'm going to be, again, making the Cheats Lotus Trifle Cheesecake. And I do have some uh, biscuits left over from before, and I'm gonna be making the uh, cream cheese mi mixture right now. And one of the problems that I uh, faced last time is that I used uh, the Happy Cow round uh, cheesecake, and that's a very uh, salty type of uh, cheese. So for some reason, um, it just came out really, um, you know, I could taste the salt in the cheesecake, and I didn't, I didn't like that at all. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little bit less cream cheese and more yogurt and uh, other stuff so that um, it's also still not too heavy that I have a lot of cheesecake, but obviously the, the option is always there to add, instead of one tub of uh, cream cheese, you add two, but I'm only using one um, right now. And it's gonna be a small dish because I'm making it for just uh, a couple of people who we are getting together for with chai, for chai in the evening. So um, here we go. And I'm gonna try and show you my recipe as I go along because I've been told that these videos are not about me, but rather they're about the food I'm making. So I'm gonna do my best. It's just hard when I put it on the stand and I'm cooking. I actually need a camera person uh, so if I get any volunteers for now, my camera person is having her A-levels, so I can't very well ask her to shoot for me. So here we go. Okay, so I'm going to start off using this cream cheese. I'm going to put this in my bowl, okay, and I'm going to blend it with uh, powdered sugar. Uh, and not really powdered sugar, but rather uh, regular sugar, jo menapis uh, in the in the blender, so that it is uh, better, it is smoother in texture, and it's easier when you add it into your recipe. As you know, in Karachi, the sugar we get is a little unrefined, and it's a little bit um, hard, uh, big chunks of uh, granules. So what I do is I put it into uh, the, the blender, not the blender, but the grater, the coffee grinder, and I just make it like uh, almost like powdered sugar, and that works out really well, okay? So I put my one tub of cream cheese, I'm gonna put the sugar to taste. So I, I have one cup, a little more than one cup here. I'm really not gonna measure it, uh, or maybe I will measure it for your sake, I'm starting off with a half a cup of sugar, okay, and I'm going to put this in. And I have a little bit of sweetened condensed milk left over from before, uh, so I'm going to use that as well, okay? So let's start off with this, okay, and then we will basically keep on tasting it as we go along. a little bit of more of sweetened condensed milk in here. And this is already looking better. I can just tell that this is gonna be great. And I'm gonna taste it. Mm, it's really good, yeah. I'm gonna put a little more of the sweetened condensed milk and finish it off. And with that, I am going to add the 
yogurt, okay? So I've got one tub of this Nestle yogurt. And this is the full fat yogurt because as you know, this is a dessert. So you're always welcome to use the low fat version if you're on a diet because this is a really good um, summer dessert that's uh, less in calories. I wouldn't say it has uh, no calories, but it is certainly less uh, healthy. It's more healthy than the majority of our desserts, which have cream and sometimes balai and this and that. Okay, so this looks really good, and I'm gonna try it again. Mmm, this is really good. This is really, really much better than before. Okay, here I'm gonna put a little bit of vanilla essence, maybe a half capsule, okay? And I'm gonna mix this together. And now I am going to make my dream whip, okay? So I'm going to put this into some cold milk and make it thick, okay? And I'm not gonna do this on camera because you know how to do this. It's basically just adding half a cup of um, milk to the dream whip packet, okay? So I'll just be back with the, with the whipped cream. And now I'm here, I actually got somebody to help me with my video, but what, I'm, what I've done is I have um, done the whipped cream and beat it together so it's quite thick and nice now, it's going to be like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, beat the cream cheese, not beat it, but rather fold it into my cream cheese mixture. So here's the dream whip going into my cream cheese mixture. And you can see it. And this is how we're going to fold it in very, very lightly so that this is nice and airy and light when I make my trifle. Okay, so that's good enough. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to... So this is uh, how the finished product looks. Uh, I've just basically decorated it with the Lotus Biscuits on top and um, it looks great. It's going back in the freezer for a bit and um, I will take it to my chai in the evening and I hope everyone likes it because I think this time uh, the flavor is gonna be perfect, okay? So good luck with this and uh, good luck with this uh, recipe and uh, happy creating. Uh, I have a really good time actually um, creating recipes and sometimes you have to do it one or two times to really make it uh, great, so hopefully I, I hope you guys enjoy this one. Okay, bye.